what's up and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be giving a reaction to the first trailer for Halloween. Now we know this film takes place 40 years after the events of the original 1978 film. So I'm definitely excited about seeing this film. Now it's directed by uh, David Gordon Green and you have Jamie Lee Curtis returning to the role of Laurie Strode. You know, you also have like Nick Castle like returning to the role of the shape Michael Myers, but you also have another actor in the role of Michael Myers too. Then you also have John Carpenter returning to exactly produce the film and compose like the music score again too as well. So those kind of elements right there are making me kind of excited for this film. Because by the way, the original Halloween from 1978, John Carpenter's film, that is actually my all-time favorite horror film. Actually my all-time favorite film, period, you know. So I'm kind of definitely excited that, you know, we got Jamie Curtis by John Carpenter, even Nick Castle, you know. I think that's kind of cool, you know. But anyway, here's my reaction to the first trailer for Halloween. Testing one, two, three. We're on. We're here to investigate a patient that killed three innocent teenagers on a Halloween in 1978. He was shot by his own psychiatrist and taken into custody that night. Oh, yes. And has spent the last 40 years in captivity. Hello, Michael. I have something you might like to see. <laughs> Everyone in my family like turns into a nutcase this time of year. I mean, your grandmother is Lori Strode. She was almost murdered. Wasn't it her brother who murdered all those babysitters? No, it was not her brother. Oh, That's something that people made star. up. Yeah. Do you know that I pray every night that he would escape? Who the hell did you do that for? So I can kill him. Excuse me, somebody's in here. Hello? He's waited for this night. He's waited for me. I've waited for him. Get out! Go home! Get inside! You don't believe in the boogeyman. He's here! Michael! You should. Can you close the closet door? <laughs> okay, that's my reaction to the first trailer for Halloween, and I am very excited for this film, you know. Now, I know a lot of fans, even me, you know, to a certain extent, are kind of upset that they are avoiding the sequels, you know, that came after the uh, original Halloween, you know. But it seems like it's okay, you know, because they already had kind of done this with, like, Halloween H2O back in 1998. They kind of made, like, you know... I think part three and on, it's like, oh, the curse of Michael Myers, they made like those didn't exist at all. Whereas now they make it seem like part two, you know, from 1981 all the way until uh, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. Well, I guess you could say the curse of Michael Myers, then the remake, and then Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. Like none of those exist at all, you know. So now, you know, they're doing it again, you know. But it seems okay that they're going with this idea of like alternate reality because now you can actually kind of choose which way you want to go <laughs> with the Halloween films, you know. You can actually go with this new incarnation, you know, which takes place right after the original film. And I think that's still a cool idea, you know. Or you can actually go with like, you know, part two on to the curse of michael myers you know or you can do like the remake like the two rob zombie films so i think you know it's kind of cool that you have like 
three uh, alternate, well, three different, like, you know, perspectives you could take on the series, you know, and really just two different, like, realities, you know, that I think that's kind of cool, and kind of like a, a innovative kind of idea, you know, they could probably do this with, like, other, like, franchises, you know, like, other horror films, you know, but I like the film, you know, like, the trailer itself, it did look pretty cool, and you do see kind of, like, elements in it, you know, that are connected, you know, that they're giving, like, a little a shout to like the other films in the series because I know that they said they were going to do that being that they uh making like the sequels didn't happen they're going to give like respects to each films like in the Halloween series you know they're giving like shout outs to you know to certain elements that were in the other series like the idea of uh, like Michael Myers being like in a prison I thought that was kind of cool like in his recent trailer I like how you get to see him and the people come up to actually interview him you know about what he did like 40 years ago that they put out the mask you know and again, this is supposed to be like a, a age version of the original mask from the 1978 film, you know, which had a, you know, which was a William Shatner, Captain Kirk mask, you know, but they cut the holes, you know, painted it white, you know, and made it, you know, like different, you know. So this is actually supposed to be like an age or version of that particular mask, you know, and it does look pretty good, you know. I like how you can see, um, I like when a bus crashes, like this is apparently when Michael Myers escapes in this new film, you know. It kind of harkens back to the original 1978 film where he escaped from a uh, Smith's Grove sanitarium. It looks just like that, you know, you can see like him and the other uh, patients, you know, standing out, you know, looking around and stuff. I thought that was kind of cool. They kind of gave a shot to that scene. It looks very similar to that sequence, you know. Plus, another thing I noticed too is like the, uh, the coveralls. You can see that Michael gets his coveralls kind of similar to he did like on uh, Halloween 4, the Return of Michael Myers, when he went to like the, uh, the mechanic shop. And I think that's where he got his coveralls from on that film, you know. And this film, you know, like they're giving a shout out to that, you know, Ben he got the coveralls again, you know. Another thing too, I think it's kind of cool, is you actually get to see like the, uh, the needle hole, like from, uh, what, you know, the pen hole from, uh, I think the knitting pen from uh, Lori Story, Jamie Chris, when she stabbed him on the original one, you can still see like, the hole in his mask. I think that's cool because I know one shot in the film you can see him look and he stabbed the hole in his mask. So I think that's kind of cool that they're keeping detail, you know, that this is actually like, the, the mask from the original film, you know. Another thing to that Lori Story with herself, too. Now, her is still kind of, you know, I think it's kind of like, too far fetched for having like guns and like booby traps. Like the, uh, the kitchen, the counter and stuff, opening up and stuff. I think all that is kind of far-fetched, but it still seems okay, you know. But I think it kind of went too far for her, like making her seem like Sarah Connor or something like that. Or even rippling it to a certain extent, you know, from the Alien series, you know. <laughs> but I think it's kind of cool that they kept the scar like on her arm too from where Michael had cut her on the original where he stared a rat over there. She fell, you know, over the balcony. I think that's kind of cool they're keeping that too as well. They gave a shout out to the other brother and sister angle which apparently no longer exists in this film. And I wouldn't be surprised they do put like a little twist in the film and they are still related, you know. They make up some kind of thing they are still related. I wouldn't be surprised they do that. But apparently that Michael Myers and Laura Stu are no longer related, you know. So I think that's kind of uh, interesting. That's like a big hit to the fans, you know, because we always, you know, been attached to them being brother and sister, you know. So that's kind of, you know, a throw off, you know. But it's okay, you know. Another thing too is the uh the idea that showed uh like the closet scene, I thought that was excellent, you know. Kinda of at the end of the trailer where the girl cuts on the light, you see like Michael Myers in the closet. I thought that was kinda of cool, that was an awesome scene. You know, I don't know if that was Michael Myers with the ghost sheet on, but the ghost sheet, like you know, that sheet he had on like from the original one where he had the ghost sheet on, you know. I thought it was kinda of cool they got a shout out to that. Him bumping into the kids, you know, just like he did on the original. I think all those moments are kinda of cool, you know. The, uh, I like that they have like the same music, you know, and John Carpenter is composing the music again too as well. Even like some of the sound effects that you know, they have from the original film are back in this film too as well. Where they are present in the trailer, you know. This is from Blumhouse, you know, like the films, you know, the company. And it's directed by David Gordon Green. You have Jamie Curtis back in the role of Laura Stroll. You have John Carpenter on board as an executive producer or creative consultant. And he's actually composing like the musical score for the film again. You have a... Uh, <coughs> Nick Castle returning to the role of Michael Myers, you know, he's the person who played the original Michael Myers, the shape, you know, so I think that's cool that he's back in that role. Plus you also have James Drew Courtney, who predominantly plays the role in the film, you know, from what I'm hearing, Nick Castle's part in the film is kind of like a cameo or something like that, but James Drew Courtney is actually playing him for the majority of the film. And apparently Gloria, she has a, two, uh, she has a daughter and a granddaughter, she has a daughter known as a, I forget what her names are, you know, but she has like a daughter and a granddaughter too as well. You also have uh, Will Patton in the film too, 
as well, you know, he makes an appearance in this film, you know, be released on October 19th of this year, 2018. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing this, you know, because like I can say the original 1978 Halloween film is my all time favorite horror film, and actually my all time favorite film, period, you know. I just, you know, <laughs> I just kind of keep it on the horror side, you know, but I'm really a science fiction fan, you know. But yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to this, you know, I like the idea that they're going like an alternate reality route. I think that's kind of cool and innovative, you know, so I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what, what's going to happen with it. And I like the way Michael Myers looked at first, like the first photos they released for the film, you know, I thought he looked like too stocky, you know, like too like, you know, heavy, you know, he kind of resembled like the Michael Myers on like Halloween 4 and 5. I was like, whoa, I was kind of worried, you know. But like, in this trailer, right, you could see like more shots of him, and I thought yeah, it looked pretty like cool, you know. He looked decent. I like how the mask does look kind of like old and like, and, like wrinkle and stuff, you know, like his age, you know, so I think that's kind of, uh, it's going to be fun, I think a fun ride, and I'm kind of betting it's going to be the best Halloween film since uh, 1981's Halloween 2, or the original Halloween film, because those are my two favorite Halloween films, so I'm betting it's going to kind of run with those films, you know, but anyway, that's my reaction to the trailer for Halloween, please leave a comment and subscribe too as well.